Hi, I'm going to show you how to create data bars and star ratings and other symbols to reflect KPIs in your table. What we're looking at is some example data of concert tickets and concert ratings. And the first thing we're going to do is create our data bars. So we're going to start with B2 in the first part of our data. And we're going to use the rep function. So just click equal and R, E, and you can see there's a formula called REPT. And it says it repeats text a given number of times. And we're going to specify that text and specify the number of repetitions. What text do we want? In order to create a bar, we need to start out with some text. And what the bar that we're going to be using is the pipe on your keyboard, which is located near your backslash. So we're going to encase that in quotations to ensure it's text. Put a comma. And how many times do we want this to repeat? The number of times in our cell. And let's close that off. And now we have a very unimpressive number of pipes. And if I click that, you can see that it's actually 89 times. And I'm going to control Z that to get rid of that. But don't worry, we will format this quickly. I'm going to pull that formula down to the end of my data range. And now, in order to turn this into data bars, you just simply need to change the text formatting. We're going to go up to text and change the font to Playbill. So I'm going to circle down to Playbill. And voila, you have data bars. We can quickly change the color of that by, remember, this is text. We can change the font. And now we have data bars next to our table. We can also use conditional formatting on this to make it look a little bit more impressive. So I'm going to highlight those data bars. Go to conditional formatting. And remember, this is a new rule. We're going to choose use a formula to determine which cell to format. We're going to be starting with the top of our data, which was B2. Equal B2. And we want to give it some arbitrary rule. So let's say less than 50. We want to reformat that and click Format. And we're going to be formatting the font, remember, because that bar is actually just text. Go to color. I'm going to choose red and then click OK and then OK again. And now we have conditional formatting on those bars. The next thing we want to do is be able to add a star rating. So we're, this is a concert rating. And of course, we don't want to use a large number like 89 because we will get 89 different stars. So we use a smaller rating. And we're going to use a symbol for that. So the first thing I want to do is highlight some part in your workbook to put that symbol. Go up to Insert go to symbol and we want to look for a star in the wing ding format and you can use anything you like i'm going to use the fill star click on it click insert and close and now we can even give this a heading called rating just to indicate a legend for our user now we're going to use the same function but be REPT and I, in the text I'm just going to put the quotations for just now and then I'm going to go down and copy it in the number of times I'm just going to indicate from my data which is an E2 and close that now nothing will happen because we know that I haven't entered the symbol there so go back down to your symbol. And one thing I want to highlight is that this look in your bar, you can see the this is kind of in a different Chevron format. But let's click that, highlight it, copy it to the clipboard, go back up to your formula, 
And in between those quotations, we're going to paste that symbol. And you can see it looks like a chevron. Click Enter. And now we're going to drag that down. We don't have our stars just yet. However, we can quickly change that using the font. So click Home, go down, and what format are we using for font? Wingdings. So we go down to W and click Wingdings. And remember, we can change the color of this font, font to indicate something that looks more like stars. I'm going to use, let me use that color. Now we have that. One other cool thing you can do is switch between symbols. And let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to copy those ratings and then copy that over. So we have new data to work with. And then we're going to use an if, state, if statement with the rep function. So first, let's get our symbols. And let's say we do something for, let's say, good. And we do something for bad since we have ratings there. So I'm going to go back over, highlight the cell where you want to drop the symbol, go to insert. And I'm going to say something as good as a smiley face. Close. And then something that is bad, go back over to symbols, is a bomb. Kind of interesting. Close that. Then I'm this time I'm going to copy that to my clipboard first to save a little time. Click equal and then we're going to start with if because we want to switch between the two symbols. So if let's say this which is I2 and we'll say anything that is greater than 5 is good so anything that's greater than 5, we want it to repeat. So we use our rep function. What do we want it to repeat? We want it to repeat the text that we've copied, which is a wingding symbol to our clipboard. And this time it's going to be in a J format, but don't, re don't worry. Once we're done, it will formatting, it will work. And then the we want to close that off and then we will highlight the second part of our if statement. We want it to repeat something negative. And I'm going to use quotations until I go down and copy and paste that symbol. How many number of times? The same number of times in that. Close off our rep function. And then one more parentheses to close off the total function and we have our J's but our formula is not complete we need to get our bomb symbol copy it go back up to our formula and place it in between the quotations now it's complete we have our J which represents our symbol we're gonna drag that down and now we can see what we have there we change the formatting to, yes, just like before, wingding. And now we have our symbols. And I'm going to get rid of the, the grid lines. I'm going to copy this and bring it down. And now we have a cool little KPI board that we can see quickly and indicates to our users good and bad values. I hope that helps. Thank you.